Hello, um, we are going to be looking at uh, subsidized uh, housing and how to get data from policy map. Uh, here it is the assignment. So we are going to go to policy map and look into a tab called housing. Then there will be uh, something that shows like the federal housing data, low income housing tax credits and hot multifamily. You will see other options, but they are not really available in uh, Utah. And um, you will need to um, just like check the developments there and create a map. You can create a map in GIS if you know how to do that. Or you can um, go to use like Google My Maps in order to like show where these places are um, located. You can also take a screenshot of uh, these uh, developments and you know somehow trying to make it look a little bit um, nicer. So to go to policy map just um, type policy map in Google uh, or policymap.com, go to open map, go to housing, federal housing, and here you see like hot multifamily. You can actually like uh, see that there's slide tech there as well. So housing, federal housing, and low income housing tax credit. The other options, as I said, are not available. Public housing, USDA, and so on. So here you can see like the two different colors, um, the orange for the hot multifamily and the other one for um, low income housing tax credits. Here we are in Rose Park. So you can create or show this in a map where the places are located. When I said I use, try to use uh, my maps or like um, GIS, it's just like it would look a little bit better. So you can take a screenshot um, of like these um, units. The other thing that um, this is like asking you uh, to do is I like, get the data that um, is available here. So you will see in Escalante is like older adults um, it says here in target population, it's like target elderly, yes, um, handicapped. Then in the project details, it was allocated in 2001, and the amount was like um, $59,000. So all this information actually you can put into a table and show us um, what are the investments in LIHTC. You can do the same thing for HOD multifamily. However, HOD multifamily has like less data, so this will be separate tables that you would show. You can show also like separate uh, maps and separate tables, but there's like a lot less information available for HOD multifamily. Uh, as you can see, Escalante, there's like several apartment buildings there. There's one, two, and three. And for the for Escalante three, there was like hot multifamily. Um, so it's uh, just have all the different information, like how many units. Uh, this refers to the inspections that, you know, it has, these inspections are done usually for um, all hot places, including section eight um, or all like subsidized housing is, you know, checked for uh, quality to make sure that the lights are working properly, stoves, heaters, things like that. So you can synthesize this data into a table. But as I said before, the whole multifamily and the light tech would be different kinds of tables. The other thing that um, this is asking you to do is to check the local uh, trust fund. So this is not federal. Um, but it's like the city, or I should say the state, offers municipalities some funding. 
for affordable housing and then the city gets some of that funding and that funding uh, private developers can apply for it being that they are non-profits or that they are for profits but they are combining kinds of um, units between subsidized and unsubsidized. So this is like where those funds are spent. You can go to the website and see the units. Some of these units might be actually the same as Lightech or Hot Multifamily. Um, so this one is like showing some of the properties and how many units. So most of these are private developments that provide some kind of affordable housing, but there's like the details here that you can get the address. Um, some of them also show the how many units are available like this one, total units and so on. So basically it's just like compiling a little table of like there's these different types of units. So now you have three units which is like the whole multifamily, the trust funds and the low income housing tax credit. So you can uh, either have separate maps that you have with the screenshots or maps that are together. Um, the tables will have to be different because uh, they don't match in terms of the data. You only need to do one more thing and it's like quantifying the impact. So what is the total of amount of subsidized housing units including like hot multifamily, light tech and trust funds? What is the type of construction if you can find this information? How many are new? How many are rehab? Um, the LightTech will show you this uh, data explicitly. So you can summarize it for LightTech if you cannot find it for other types of um, developments like hot multifamily and also like trust funds. Um, then LightTech, for example, it will tell you the target population if it's for older adults, for families homeless or um, disabled. So you can do a summary of that. You can also search online to see if the other ones, uh, some of the, so if some of this data exists for the other ones called multifamily and trust funds, um, I'm not entirely sure. Then you can also show the, uh, how many are at 60% of the area median income, 50%, whatever that is. The majority are going to be 60% of the area median income and uh, LightTech definitely includes this information. Um, then you can total the amount of funds that went to this. For example, you can say there was an invest there was investments from like 1992 to 2017 that amounted this million dollars. Um, which is about this much per unit, right? We know that the, the, there will be like some units that were cheaper in the past, of course, but the idea is just to quantify what is the impact, like how much investment in affordable housing and how much is per unit. So you will pretty much make a total of the units and just divide it by the amount that, that might be given. Um, the idea is to quantify, again, the impact of subsidized housing. As I said before, the light tech information is like extremely complete because we have very good reporting mechanisms that people have to comply with in order to get the funding. Um, hot multifamily and trust fund units might not be as good. So here you can choose, again, if you want to do a summary for light tech um, or if you are able to find uh, more information about multifamily or trust fund units. You can also do it for the three uh, types uh, of subsidized um, housing. So that would be ideal, but um, you might find that there's actually uh, data limitations that uh, could not be overcome. So that's uh, what you will have to do for this assignment.